Okay, let's talk about a patient I just saw who had a lower lid blepharoplasty uh, elsewhere and she's unhappy, but she's unhappy for the, not because anything wrong happened with the blepharoplasty. So something that is important to recognize in patients who are very gaunt or who've had a lot of facial fat atrophy, um, their fat bags, so to speak, might look much more prominent than they really are. And that has to do with the fact that they've got a negative vector or they have a flat maxilla um, or just very little facial fat. And you can reposition them and perfectly because uh, that's what you're supposed to do. You shouldn't take their fat out. They need every ounce of volume that, that they, ha that they uh, have. Uh, but even when you reposition them, they can still look a little bit uh, like they've got these little bags underneath. And part of that has to do with the fact that they're just so gaunt and, and deflated in a mid-face. So what I found that works really well in these patients is, you know, what I do post-op is I tell them that you're probably gonna need filler afterwards um, or Sculptra um, <clears throat> would work because that would give them a little bit more volume in the mid-cheek and just throughout the entire face and that would help blend with the reposition fat. A lot of times you might even be able to get away without doing the blepharoplasty um, for patients that don't have that much fat prolapse, but it looks, again, very prolapsed because of the fact that they're so gaunt or because of the fact that they don't have any other surrounding fat. Um, so, hope that helps some of you in your lower lid blepharoplasty consults and also for those looking for surgery. Uh, that's it guys.